First Samuel 31. Now the Philistines fought against Israel, and the men of Israel fled from before the Philistines, and fell down slain in Mount Gilboa. Now remember, chapter 29, David was ready to fight against Israel. God had the Philistines say, hey, get out of here, David. Chapter 30, David goes back to Ziglag. He finds that his family has been destroyed. He finds the city's been burnt. God is keeping David away from this place where the death of Saul. I am here, and I'll put it on the video, but here is a map of how far God kept David away from Mount Gilboa. David's all the way down south. So there is no question. David is nowhere near where Saul dies. Why is that? Somebody could say, well, David asserted the authority of Saul. That's how he got the kingdom. It's not true. And the Philistines followed hard upon Saul, upon his sons. Now remember, 24 hours ago, Saul is visiting the witch of Endor. And Samuel says, tomorrow you'll be with me. Upon his sons. And the Philistines slew Jonathan. Chapter 23, verse 16. Jonathan is killed. Chapter 23, verse 16. He should not have been there at all. 23, 16. And Jonathan becomes a false prophet because of this. Verse 16, Jonathan, Saul's son, arose and went to David into the wood and strengthened his hand in, the, in God. And he said unto him, Fear not, for the hand of Saul my father shall not find thee. Thou shalt be king over Israel. 2 Samuel. That part is true. And I shall be next unto thee. At the, verse, at the end of verse 18, Jonathan went to his house. And now, chapter 31, Jonathan is dead with his house, his father and his brothers. Had he stayed with David like a Abiathar, the priest, Abinadad and Melchishua, Saul's son. And the battle went sore against Saul. And the archers hit him. That would be with arrows. And he was sore wounded. Not just wounded. Sore wounded. Look how the words the Holy Spirit put in there. Of the archers. Then said Saul to his armor bearer. Draw thy sword. And thrust me through therewith. I want you to kill me. Least these uncircumcised, the Philistines, come and thrust me through, and they kill me, and abuse me. That's the first time abuse shows up in the Bible. And what he's saying is, don't let the Philistines say, they killed me. And do whatever they will do to my body. I'd rather have you as my armor bearer kill me. But his armor bearer would not. For he was sore afraid. Therefore, the Holy Spirit, therefore Saul took a sword and fell upon it. Suicide. Now we're going to get with the next chapter. We're going to see a little contradiction. There is none. Saul took a sword and fell on it. He killed himself. And when his armor bearer saw that Saul was dead, suicide. He fell likewise on his sword and died with him. So both of them died. Saul and his armor bearer. He couldn't kill Saul, but he could kill himself. So Saul died and his three sons and his armor bearer and all his men that same day together. So a massacre. And when the men of Israel that were on the other side of the valley and they that were on the other side of Jordan saw that the men of Israel fled, the army's gone, they're running. They've always been afraid 
since Saul has been king. And that Saul and his sons were dead. He's dead, 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 dead. They forsook the city and fled. And the Philistines came and dwelt in them. Occupation takeover. And it came to pass on the morrow, the next day, when the Philistines came to strip the slain, that is spoiling. They're walking up to a dead body, the person's dead, they take off his coat, they check his wallet, check his purse, see if he's got any money, see if he's got a good sword, whatever he's got, it's good. It's mine. And they found Saul and his three sons fallen on Mount Gilboa, which that map shows you. They're way away from Ziglag. And they cut off his head, like David did with, uh, with Goliath, and stripped off his armor, shield, breastplate, weapons, and sent into the land of the Philistines round about to publish it in the house of their idols and among the people just like they did with Samson. Samson was our enemy. Look what our gods have done, has brought Samson to us. And they put his armor in the house of Ashtoreth. That's the main female deity. Baal, the deity of all deities, and then Ashtoreth. That's Esther. That's Easter. There she is. She's in the house of the Philistines. And they fastened his body to the wall of Beth Shane. Without the head, I would assume. So people walk by, ah, there's the body of Saul and his sons. Our God, Asterisk, gave us the victory. And when the inhabitants of Jabez Gilead heard of that which the Philistines had done to Saul, his body, all the valiant men arose and went all night and took the body of Saul and the bodies of his sons from the wall of Beth Shein and came to Jabesh and burnt them there, the bodies, cremation. And they took their bones of Saul and his sons and buried them under a tree at Jabesh. So it looks like trees are, the, are tombstones of the Old Testament. And I wonder if they would write something on it. And fasted seven days. Why would they have fasted? Because they just touched dead bodies. So that's the end of the life of Saul and his sons. They were nailed to a wall. They gave credit to Asherah and the Philistines. And their bodies are cremated and put under a tree. And according to Samuel, they are down inside the earth. We know that Saul is in hell. Jonathan possibly in Abraham's bosom. And the other sons, we don't know. And that's the end of Saul. Dead in battle. And he committed the death himself, suicide.